Now that you're ready to hit the trails right here in Park City and head to the back country, we are going to shift gears and talk about great things that you can watch throughout your holiday weekend. I recently had the opportunity to speak to Richard Dormer. You know him from Game of Thrones, all about his new project that is premiering called The Watch. Let's take a look. We are catching up with one of film and television's most compelling actors today. Richard Dormer is joining us here on Park City Television to talk about his new BBC America high concept drama that he is starring in called The Watch. Richard, thanks for talking with us. It's, it's lovely to talk to you. Thank you. So tell me more about The Watch. Well, uh, The Watch is um, pretty unlike anything anyone's ever seen before on television or on screen. Um, which I'm immensely excited about, uh, just to be part of it, to be part of this magical creation. Um, it's the, the showrunner, um, Simon Allen, uh, wrote and, um, and kind of guided the other writers uh, in, in the whole process. Um, he's a very funny guy. He got together, the producers and himself and the directors got together, an amazing cast. Um, and we play um the the watch which is a group of misfits um that come together uh, uh, and, and form the police force of this world um ankh pork which is a city in disc world which is a flat world in another dimension now i know that sounds crazy but uh it's a crazy show <laughs> It sounds intriguing, actually. Tell me a little more about your character, Captain Sam Vimes. Captain Sam Vimes. Uh, well, we find Sam Vimes at the beginning of the of the show. Um, he's a, a bit, bit. He's a dissolute. He's dissolute. Um, he's a, He's lost hope uh, in himself and faith in the world um, because crime is legal in this world so he really sees himself as a as an, an extra leg you know absolutely about as 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 useful as a chocolate fire guard really so um but then something happens um a ghost from his past turns up and uh, uh he meets several people who help him to realize uh, that he is he's a much better, stronger, um, vibrant soul than he thought. And how is Captain Sam Vimes, how is he similar to other characters you've played, such as very famous of Beric from Game of Thrones and also Dan from Fortitude? Are, are there similarities that you drew from playing those roles to playing Captain that really helped you in, in this situation? Um. No, I mean the only the only similarity I think is that they they've all got kind of deep voices. <laughs> no, this guy this guy's way out there. I, I'm I'm playing him uh, in, in a similar accent to my own, which I I don't which I rarely do. Um, and I was a bit reluctant to at first, but the the, the producers they they wanted me to to play it as a a kind of a, in a my Northern Irish accent. Um, so yeah, he's he's irascible. He's um, crazy. Um, he's a, a, a bit of a drunk, a chain smoking drunk. Um, yeah, he, he's bonkers basically, <laughs> but he's got an incredibly good heart, um, which I think all all my characters ultimately have, even if they're very flawed, they, they ultimately will do the right thing. So a very different role than ones you've had in the most recent past. Is that true? Yes, they're all uh, all very different. I love it. And anything that really stands out in your time with the watch that you're really excited to see on screen? Sorry, what was that again? Was there a certain scene that you're really looking forward to seeing when the watch premieres? Well, do you know, uh, there's 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 a lot of them. There's one um, that uh, Simon Allen sent to me last night. Uh, it's a clip of whenever the watch they they form <laughs> they form a punk band um, <laughs> to be able to get into a certain guild, and the guilds are these uh, these um, things within this world. So you could be a thief, 
You could be a, a an assassin. You, know, you could be a musician, and you have to be part of a guild. So what they do is they 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 form a punk band, and I was crying, laughing watching it. Uh, <laughs> it's just I can't wait for people to see so many um, bits of this because it's just that they will literally their jaw will hit the floor. They'll be going, "What is this? This is crazy, but beautiful." I was so looking forward to seeing that and seeing you in this different role and very intriguing with this group of misfits. I'm curious, you're joining us from Belfast right now. It's such a unique year. Any, can you give us any information about what you're working on right now? Yeah, I'm just, uh, I just flew back this morning from Manchester in England where we're filming the second season of Cobra starring um, Robert Carlyle. Um, who plays the Prime Minister and it's the Cobra Room basically it's uh, I play the head of civil contingencies which is the guy who fixes things whenever there's a disaster strikes the nation so I'm doing that um, and uh, waiting with bated breath for the watch to come out I really can't wait for people to see it well you are very busy and I'm very much looking forward to tuning into the watch watching you really, and everyone else in this series, work to save the world. So where can we get more information on the watch? Um, I, I have no idea. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. I do, is there a, a site? I, I, I'm, I'm not sure about well, that. How can, we, how can we follow along with you? Do you? Are you on social media? Is there anywhere where we can kind of keep up with everything you're doing? No, I'm not. I don't really do um, social media. Uh, I just keep myself to myself, head down, um, and uh, but all the all the shows are there, all the stuff I've done, you know, uh, the Fortitude, Game of Thrones. Um, there's, there's there's lots of stuff out there. Absolutely. Well, you're so busy, and you're doing so many things. People can find out all about you through the series that you are starring in, and it's just been an absolute pleasure speaking with you, Richard, and learning more about the watch and the other things that you're working on. Well, it was lovely talking to you. Thank and you. you can, Thank you so much. You can watch The Watch. It actually premieres Sunday, January 3rd. It looks like at 8 p.m. on BBC America. Yeah. You got to watch it. <laughs>